guys, I'm back. And there's one thing that golf shoes and driving irons have in common. You can't have enough of them. It's golf Club Empire. Mary doesn't even know this is actually coming in the house. <laughs> done with it. You're going to make a profit. You're basically getting paid to perv on golf clubs. Hello, you sexy animals. How are you all doing? Simon, I'm back. We've had the ears lowered. We've got plans for the next three weeks leading up to Christmas. There's going to be giveaways. There's going to be new content. I've got a website that's being built from Paul, who watches the channel. So, Paul, thank you for everything you're doing at the moment, which is very exciting. We've got new content, long drive stuff, left hand stuff, more bargains, just everything. So I'm glad I took a week off, recharged the batteries, got some great creative original content coming and I appreciate everyone that's got me to 40,000 subscribers. It's just astonishing. So thank you guys. Strixon, driving iron, bargain. Let's go and pick this bad boy up, 45 quid. Great nick, graphite shaft, you just can't go wrong. It was listed for 70 quid, no one really dip their toe in, you reduce it to 45. I'm now making an hour and a half round trip to go and pick this thing up and let's go and head it on the range. See some good nighttime ball flights. Quick update, I've put my link to my eBay store down below. Not for you guys to go and buy anything from it, but I get a lot of messages a day now asking for the eBay link. So it's there, it's the last time I'm ever gonna be talking about it because you guys will find better deals elsewhere. I do the hard grafting to find this so I can kind of make a bit more money. Spend 30 minutes, an hour in an evening whilst your missus is watching I'm a Celeb, you'll find great deals out there. The other one, more important one, which I can't believe I've never known about, eBay partner link. You buy anything on eBay after hitting my link over 24 hours, I get a commission from it. I probably would have bought a five bed house at this point. So if you want to go and buy coconut water, palm tree, adult themed toys, you name it. If you wouldn't mind just hitting that link, it's just an easy way to help out the channel and obviously it doesn't cost you anything. Right, I think that's enough plugging. I've done well, so I've been off for a week, so we had to get all the plugging in when I could. Let's get over to Farnham and pick up this very nice Strixon 2-iron for 45 quid, what are you saying? Just as a side note, you wanted a second-hand golf club empire where we're building one. <laughs> Mary doesn't even know this is actually coming in the house. <laughs> the amount of golf clubs I've currently got in my car. I just thought it was quite funny, so I'm gonna have to sell this off quite quickly. Otherwise, I might not have a house to actually live in. And we have arrived in a Farnham. The things I do for bargains and golf clubs. It's 4.30, but it feels like nine o'clock in the evening. It's definitely different vlogging in the winter compared to the summer. But I'm definitely not going to be grumbling as I'm just being glad that I'm allowed out to do this. All right, let's go and find the club. Welcome to a new series I like to call Street Lamp Review. I'm going to take this back to the range so you can see it. 45 quid is an absolute bargain. Stiff graphite, Miyazaki shaft, U45 2 iron, absolute bargain. Guys, I'm literally showing you how to build a bag and then once you're done with it, you're gonna make a profit. You're basically getting paid to perv on golf clubs. It's good to be back. We're down here at Lower Hennick driving range. I'll be teaching again, obviously hitting. We've got lots of practice on every element of the game at the moment. <sighs> Last time you saw this was probably about four, five weeks ago. Very excited. Haven't seen Ian obviously in five weeks. So the gentleman that owns the range. That is going to be his new indoor simulator. And the thing is absolutely massive. So very excited to obviously have a chat with him, get some updates on that. Let's hit the Srixen driving iron. The thing's a beast. I've got one in the bag currently at the moment. I've got a more up-to-date version than this one. But when it comes to driving irons in general, you just need to make sure you've got the right shaft. And then all the heads are pretty much similar. You look at the P790 at the moment. That thing is retailing, especially on the second-hand market, £120 plus. And yes, I love it. And yes, it is good and more to do with the aesthetics rather than the feel and output. But if you want something a bit more off-brand, if you want something that's not necessarily in the public eye as much, Srixen makes 
not only good irons but great utility driving irons and the prices are somewhat still inflated because supply as far as i'm aware the lot of the majority of suppliers manufacturers can't even get clubs till february so the second hand club business even though we're going into winter is still going to be at somewhat of a premium but if you want less of a premium as well as potential finding a better bargain so if you go and try facebook if you go and try gumtree someone's more likely to sell you a 50 quid suits and driving iron than a p790 tailor-made one just because of the way it is people know what tailor-made is all about they know what callaway ping strixon doesn't necessarily have the same appeal to the mass market i'm talking about the people then they know like me and you now will be looking hopefully finding decent bargains let's say this thing in graphite with a lovely looking head and a great grip on it this is your ultimate fairway finder if you have got the club head speed to hit a driver 260 plus then a driving iron i highly recommend if you struggle to find fairways especially in the summer this thing is designed to do 220 to 240 and just get you down the middle doesn't have to be pretty you can hit it out of the toe you can hit it out of the hill you can hit it thin whatever it might be but it needs to go somewhat straight and you have a smaller dispersion. That's what this game is all about. If we learned anything from DJ at the Masters, it was finding fairways and then hopefully hitting greens over that. Unfortunately, this driving iron won't help you to hit more greens, but hopefully it'll put you in a much better position. So let's quickly chat about what we are doing with the channel update. Left-handed series. If you didn't know, World Handicap System has changed in the UK. That means pros can have a handicap. I potentially can have a left-handed handicap to play in amateur competitions, which could mean there's nothing like going playing a normal 18 holes or whatever, and at the moment my best round left-handed, even though four months of the year has been out, has been about 86, or maybe, no, 88 I think I shot, something like that, so nowhere near the 80s. But could I do that in competition? Let's be honest, that is golf, that is real golf breaking 80 getting my handicap down in a competition scenario i'm nowhere near especially with this year and everything else but i think it could be the extended version of the left-handed series the bet that everything else still stands no matter what's gone on but potentially in the future how low can i get my left-handed handicap down if that's something you guys are obviously interested in want to watch then by all means put comments down below and if i get enough support then it's definitely something that we can go for just like every other sport long drive has definitely been hit i mean the support what you need indoor space as well for comps <laughs> everything's been hit this year i will am still practicing and training for the long drive stuff i've now got a launch monitor that actually makes it feasible to give myself some kind of data whereas before it's basically just hit and hope so again long drive stuff will continue i want to meet other long drivers again just like i was doing but with the traveling lockdown restrictions everything else that is on hold but obviously come next year that is something that hopefully i'll be bringing to the channel and more original content which is all i'm ever trying to strive for so guys there you have it There's my update had a week off i'm back i'm raring to go i'm so excited to see where the channel's going to be in 2021 2020 was an incredible year even with the stuttering and the halt in certain elements but you guys just helped me get through it as well as support the channel when it needed it most so i really do appreciate that i'm looking forward to everything up until christmas and then what gets on afterwards guys hope you enjoyed the content that comes this week the week after have a great evening because it's late and i really need to go home all right, see you later.